This music's a little spooky. Uh, good afternoon, everybody. Um, I'm, uh, I'm here by myself for the time being. Sean's a little bit late. He had to go pick up his laundry. He's going to be here in like a couple of minutes. It's not going to be a big deal. But I just figured I'd, uh, you know, say hello on my own for the time being. Um, until he decides to join us. Um, you can shush. Uh... But we will be playing a little bit more Fire Emblem Echoes today. Uh, there we go. We got that back on. And now we're here. Okay. <clears throat> uh, so last time I think was just like a bunch of... Um, uh, I think we like finished up all the stuff we needed to do on Celica's. And, and then we went over and we got to do Alms now. There's only the two maps that we need to do. Um, uh, which I don't think is going to be a big deal. We've got like pretty good army. Well, okay. So now the thing that I'm thinking about is like, everyone's like, everyone's like not ready to promote just yet. You know, like some people are, I think probably pretty close, but we're gonna like have these two fights and then we're gonna be like, then we're gonna be like in the middle of these fights they're gonna be like oh you can now promote and then we're gonna have to go back here and then more dudes will spawn well they're not gonna spawn if we kill if we beat them i think so then it's probably fine actually probably fine oh you know what but we still have to go back to the um to the village to go talk to the guy about the um about the girl that we saved from the thing so let's do that. And then also there's only just these three guys, okay. All right, who needs XP real bad? Hilda is going to level soon. Uh, You're already a saint, so you definitely don't need to promote. You guys are similar in level. Lucas is over here. And I guess we don't have, like, Forsyth or anything with us because, um... Uh... Because he's, like, too low in the order. And this is just, like, a random battle. Oh, yeah. That's right. <clears throat> my audio was a little off from the last one, so I think I want to move my microphone a little bit closer and maybe up the gain a little bit and see if that helps at all. Just a little bit. Okay. All right. <clears throat> let's do let's do this here. Spooky's here. At least it isn't that elf guy in the castle still. Oh, like the um the canter from the uh from the other map. That was um that was pretty obnoxious. Do you mean the do you mean from the um the temple when we were with Celica's party getting in there? I think that Spooky is referring to the previous to the last major fight that we did where it was a fucking struggle to get through. Which yes was the end of Celica's route cuz boy okay. that was a lot. Yeah. Also oh, hi Sean, welcome back from Laundryland. Hi Liam, my sheets are dry after going to my laundry room like six times today because Good. yeah try you, as i might i have to finish while we're streaming do you want to do you want to talk about that about how that went <laughs> oh yeah it's fine whatever i just so anna worked works today um which is why we're gonna end probably a little bit earlier than usual but um also why we're getting started a little bit earlier than also usual. why we're getting started a little bit early um i fucking took laundry down like as soon as she got up because today we're doing sheets too which is not like an every week thing like in the fall winter mm -hmm. um so i'm like okay it's 9 30 i'm gonna run this shit down i'm gonna get it done early she has clothes to go to work and she still had stuff for today so it worked out but it was like one of those things where it's like oh i gotta go quickly to get this done mm -hmm. um i go down i put my laundry in i go back down to flip it an hour later and there are maintenance guys in there that are vacuuming the laundry vents and this is it's not uncommon for just weird shit to happen sometimes in an apartment building so i didn't really think anything of it but like the dude was like hey you can't like come and like flip your laundry right now I was like oh okay cool and i didn't i hadn't been notified of anything so i was like all right cool whatever fine i'm gonna 
go back in 15 minutes and whatever, I'll try and do it again. So I go mm -hmm. back down and there's a second guy in there now. They're still vacuuming stuff out and I'm still told that I can't get my shit. Uh -huh. And I'm like, this is weird now. And I go back upstairs and about 10 minutes later, I get an email from my building management that's like, the laundry room's closed until three o'clock because the vents are being cleaned today. And it's like, it sure would have been nice if you had told me that, you know, before they started. <laughs> Uh -huh. It sure would have been nice to have gotten that notification, you know, yesterday or even at eight this morning, something. Um, yeah, instead of just like, no, we're just going to do it. They'll be fine. So my two I'm loads of wet laundry sat down there for the better part of like five or six hours. And that was annoying. And then I went down and finally was able to flip my laundry over. And then one of the dryers didn't work. So I had to fucking one of them was done. And I had to put it back in again. And it's like, oh, God. Okay. Mm. <laughs> All right. So it's been a bit of a struggle to get laundry done today, but we're finally done. I think. I hope. <laughs> I mean, that's that's kind of that's one of those things. It's kind of up to you when your laundry's done. Is it a pile of wet clothes on the floor? It's done if you say it is. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> it's done if you say it is. I suppose that's the beauty I... of being an adult. Yeah, <laughs> this uh, this Klondike bar is dinner if I say it is. You are the architect of your own destiny. This old man is mumbling. Yeah, uh, Spooky also says, I finally came up with a new D&D a new D &D character. Well, I would love to hear about it. Where's the guy that told us that the girl was missing? Was it him? I want to speak with him. Uh, I've been waiting for you, Dumadash. I hear you saved my daughter from the Shrine of the West. I insist you help yourself to my treasure. A blessed Lance. That's really good. <laughs> Thanks for coming oh, to, to save me, brave actually sir. A good thing. Okay. Yeah, he's not just like <laughs> here's like here's like um <laughs> got a piece of bread that I've been nibbling on. It's, it's a real treasure. <laughs> uh, let's give it to somebody who needs a little bit of help in the damage department. I think. Maybe one of our... Oh. Either Faye or Claire. Yeah. Matilda doesn't really need it that badly. She's better than the other two are, I think, at this point. It depends, because they have, like, much better mobility and they're faster. No, they're not that much faster. Um, mm. um, Claire has kind of struggled to deal damage a little bit, and it's hard to use her because she can't, like... I think I'm going to give it to Claire. Okay. I think I'm going to give it, give it to Claire, because... Also I'm also like... sorry if you hear me munching. I'm scarfing down a tuna sandwich, which is the first thing that I've eaten today. It actually does less damage than the steel lance, but it doesn't weigh her down at all. Uh, you know what, actually? I think I'm actually going to give her the Steel Lance, and then I'm going to give Faye the Blessed Lance. Because Faye oh, I... can take hits a little bit better. She needs the extra point of speed that Claire doesn't, and her attack is a little bit higher. Sure. So, so it works out. Yeah. So that'll be good. And then Claire, I think actually we might want to like upgrade a weapon for Claire, maybe. And then Matilda has that. She's pretty fast. And her defense is getting up there. She used to be defense uh, seven, which was very low, and I was concerned. Now it's nine, which is okay. I, you know, I'd like it to still, be a little still bit Still cause for concern. Still single digits. It's not, it's not horrible at this point in the game. It's not horrible. It needs to like, get better soon, is what I will say. The thing is, if she's going to be like fighting like three dudes, like, like in a turn, like seven is way too low. Nine is like getting there. But... You know, all right, let's, um, let's forge something to be good. Wait one on the steel lance. Let's forge a steel lance. Let's forge, um, Claire, as I think Claire needs it. Um, can we forge this? We can. And it becomes very slightly better. <clears throat> I don't know if that's worth it. Um, we have to give a bark gold mark to do that. Which yeah. is why I don't think that that's worth it. Yeah, we'll get Claire a little bit more damage. We have 277. We can... 
we'll go like tier three. Tier three, and that'll be yeah. all right. And then we yeah, get that's a, fair. and it's gonna be the. The stance. The stance. Steens. Wait, put the double E's back. Wait, <laughs> the double E's. No, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. And then uh, we actually okay. can upgrade it to, I think, a javelin. And I don't know what this is. Is that a rider's bane? I don't think or, it's a rider's bane. Rider's those... bane is like a little bit chunkier. The sprite is like mm. a little bit chunkier. OK, I just saw a big fat head and said, eh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Rider's bane. Uh, I also don't know if Rider's Bane is like a named weapon or if it's like a thing that this shit can class into. I think it can. It could be. The, you probably can class up into it. Uh, halberd? Uh, like a halberd? I don't know. I don't know what the name of it is. I'm curious to figure out actually what it is. Um, uh, Spooky says the gimmick of uh, the D&D character is that he's actually two goblins who are pretending to be one fully armored warrior, but it's obvious to everyone that it is just two goblins. <laughs> <laughs> I like the I like the built-in stipulation that like everybody knows, but they all just kind of pretend to not, not be aware of that. I'm Jock. This is my brother Shu. <laughs> That's funny. It's like That's the funny. That. Yeah. All right. Uh, I know this is just gonna upgrade into a steel bow, so there's no reason to really do that. Uh, steel bow on gray. Rider's bane. Rider's bane has been really good. I don't need to upgrade it necessarily. Stance. Um, can we shields don't get upgrades? It's just kind of the weapons. All right. Um, I don't know. Like we have a gold mark. We can upgrade something to something cool. Um, I'm also really. Is it worth it to, to let know. it burn a hole in our pocket now, or would it be better to save it for later? I don't know. I'm also hmm. really curious what the heck the stance evolves into. I almost want to level it up. Like I don't want it to be like something crappy that doesn't help us, but. Liam, literally make a save state. I can do that, can't I? You can do that. I can Correct. do that. All right, well, let's do that. Then. What does it become? It, it becomes it's a silver lance. Ooh. Is that better? Is that good enough? Uh, Lena's here. Ah. Hey, what's up, Lena? Save the game. Okay. Um, save the game. Yep. Okay, so it becomes a silver lance, which is like the same kind of, but is like. It can be like the, it's it's heavier is the problem, but like Claire is like pretty fast. I think, but like I think we're probably better off with just like a beefed up um, steel lance. Steel lance, because it's the same stats right. with like I guess five less hit, but one less weight, and I think that matters a little bit more right now. Okay, so the that's good. That's good to know man. though. It's good to know though. Mm -hmm. And then uh, the Ernst can upgrade into that's just a steel lance. Uh, and the royal into the Sterns. Royal sword just gets another might. Which I don't know if it's worth that. All right, this is probably fine for now. Do I want to upgrade this? Lena is making dinner. Lena, tell us about your dinner. I think I do. I think I do. I think that's what we'll he use thinks. our gold mark on. Yeah, because it's only like one more bit of might, but like that matters, mm. you know? Okay. Uh, and this will be the blesses lance, so this will be... Wait. Listen, all I got for you is I trust your judgment on it, so like, you know. Yeah. Ble the the blends. Blends. <laughs> Wonderful. Okay. Uh, Lena says uh, cayenne chicken cutlets with mashed potato and carrot. Not mash. Okay. Sorry. So it's just like oven baked roasted potato. <laughs> Lena's having too much fun with her. <laughs> I'm sorry. It shouldn't be as funny as it is to me. No, the carrots are not mashed. Okay. Let's get gray oh, better steel bow. Mash them together. Um, Spooky says right now uh, the the uh, aforementioned goblins don't have anything on the uh, hole digging character, but I do want to get better at RPing them. Every so often, uh, one of uh, the the feet the feet one slips up and talks. The stew. 
<laughs> that was so an accident, much. kind of, but, <laughs> but I'm okay with That's, it. I don't think you would have come up with anything else. <laughs> um, says, I think that when they meet the big bad, I'll uh, I'll have them split apart and run in opposite directions. It's very good. And Lena's carrots are not mashed. I'm assuming they're just, like, steamed then, or... <laughs> <laughs> oh. Trying to keep the show on the road. I'm Liam sorry. I'm sure sorry. That that's so <laughs> that's so much funnier than I thought it was gonna be. It's not that funny, but it's making me laugh. Oh, we have a cheese for someone who needs speed. Oh, the speed cheese. Who needs speed really bad? Um, Lucas, eight speed for an armor knight's not that bad. Eleven is pretty good. Thirteen is pretty good. Um, plan uh. Lena says, uh, Abby chose to climb on Mike today. Mike is here and says, mashed carrots, delish, yum, yum. I'm glad that you're enjoying your mashed carrots. Also, <laughs> hi, Mike. I love you. Mm -hmm. Good afternoon. Or, I guess it's evening now, technically. After six o'clock, it's evening, Liam. God. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. So we have two candidates for the speed. Um, there's Luthier, who I think, like, could use some. Speed seven is, like, really bad. Especially um, mage. On, yeah, especially on a mage who we want to double. Um, and then uh, uh, Faye, who has a speed of nine, which is not as bad, but like... Is it just like a speed or is it more than two. a speed? I think you get two. Okay. Um, the other thing fine. is like, the other thing is like, I think that Luthier is going to like Remote soon in the next like two or three levels and when he does if his speed is like less than the base speed of the sage class Then it'll just bump him up to the base speed of the sage class. Why don't we um Why don't we uh, just hold on to the cheese then and see if Luthier needs it if he's gonna promote in two levels anyway That's like a fight or two Yeah Yeah <clears throat> Um. The only thing uh, about that is like um like, that means that now Luthier is, like, worse for more fights, but, like, it, I think you're probably right. I think you're probably right. I mean, just in the intro, like, if we're really, really trying to min-max, like, there's a part of me that wants to say, fuck it, just spend it, but if you really think he's gonna promote in, like, two levels, then, like, whatever. Um, yeah, something like that. Lynn asks if uh, either of us have uh, heavy rain happening, to which Mike replies with the um, very David Cage, Sean, response. <laughs> Um, no, not currently heavy rain. It was raining earlier. It's kind of chill right now, actually. Yeah, it's not raining. <clears throat> How about you, Liam? How's your weather been? Uh, it's been all right. It's been, it's actually been really, really nice. It's been like, mm. um, it's like fall weather, but like summer coming into fall where it's like a little cool and a little breezy, but very, very nice to be outside. Hmm. It got cold very suddenly, probably because of the storms. I think our high today was like 52. Mm, mm -hmm. Liam's weather's been good because the hurricane made a sharp right to miss Ohio. Yeah, well, we we, we paid, you know, uh, we paid... Those um, hurricane deflectors. Nobody else invested in the hurricane deflectors. They all thought he, Liam was a fool. Yeah, we've, we've made our sacrifices to the cryptids here in Ohio, and they've protected us from the foul weather. I mean, the, the ancient rites. People should know how to do this by now. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a new concept. Spooky says, Spooky says I'm at war with the rain, and I'm curious what, what, what they mean, but... I don't know. I don't <clears throat> know. Uh, here, let's put Lucas here, just for him to, like bop everybody, and then we'll go and decide who gets the finishing blows. What we'll do, I think. Something um, that I've definitely thought about before is the, what if um, all of the rain fell at once? I've actually seen a video um, that explores that question. Um, the answer is a lot of people die and a lot of cars get smashed. Yeah, that's fair. That's about what I expected. <laughs> that's Would, about where you're I. You're talking about just like one big blanket of just like rain yeah, just that goes a big a whoosh of rain that consumes the world real quick. Yeah. What I mean is, I cursed the rain. I see. Ah, too much of it. Yeah, I get it. It's good and it's necessary. And I mean, I'm thankful that I'm not getting fucked up by the um, hurricane that is 
fucking up so many other people right now, and it's just like, it rains for a couple of days. It's like, yeah, we probably needed it anyway, it's fine. Yeah. Uh, Clive can clean this guy up. Although I do want to talk more about the cryptids that protect Ohio from bad weather. That's oh, yeah? cool. I, I, that's a space that I feel like I could explore a little bit more. <laughs> what do you think one of them looks like? Obviously I know because I'm an Ohioan now. <laughs> what does a deflector look like or the, one of the cryptids? The one of the cryptids. <laughs> oh, it's just Mothman flapping his wings really hard. <laughs> <clears throat> <clears throat> okay, says, so see, those people didn't do a smart by pointing their fans at the hurricane to blow it away. It's fair. They could do that. Let's just take the hurricane and blow it somewhere else. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like when your room's really hot, point the fan outside of your room instead of towards it, and it'll get all the hot mm -hmm. air out and all that. Yeah, something <clears throat> like that. Sorry, my phone's blowing up. I don't think it's anything, Wait. like, super important. It's just... So one of two things. It's either DoorDash telling you that your burger was delivered two hours ago 15 <laughs> times again. Yeah. Or... yeah, it was freaking doing that earlier. It was... DoorDash sent me, like, four messages to be like, Mac Shack's here. I know! I knew it the first time and the second and the third time! <clears throat> yeah, um, of... Or Alec has discovered something that is very exciting to him. Alec doesn't text me, though. He he Discord messages me. Uh, it's true. It would be 15 Discord messages. You're right. Yeah. <laughs> Chris is here, and we're all hearing uh, we're all hearing the Sephiroth theme now, because he has entered. <laughs> How you doing, Chris? Good to see you. All right. Now, we're just fighting our way through a bunch of mooks. Um, let's actually order ourselves a little bit differently, because if we put Forsyth in the back, we're never going to see him. Uh, oh, no. Spooka says, how do you think the UK never uh, never gets hurricanes? We, we build them at, uh, at Florida. Oh, I'm there. <laughs> okay. Yeah. It, it does rain a lot in the UK from what I hear, though. There's, and then all of our, like... Man, all these I names probably. suck. The Boy. urn brew, the stew, the blends, the urns. And the stance. <laughs> and the stance. Incredible. <laughs> stew Great. is like, I don't remember what I was going for, but that's what I got. <laughs> I'm kind of, I'm kind of excited about it. <laughs> I also imagine Gray just looking at his bow and being like, gotta give a cool bow a cool name, right? I like this bow. What's another thing I like? Like when my mom makes stew. All right, this is the stew. Bro! Bro, it's the stew! <laughs> Ridiculous, okay, sure. <laughs> also, hi, Chris, because I didn't say it. How are you today, homie? Mm -hmm. We got a witch, so we want to be careful because she just teleports in wherever she wants. Uh, Which witch? Um, uh, this witch. Oh, that witch. Yeah, she's from the desert. She's a sandwich. Uh, All right, anyway. A uh, sandwich. Okay, cool. Um, <laughs> oh, I forgot Chris I can reorganize I... them on the actual maps. Okay. Chris says, I asked for a dollar fifty raise today because I think I deserve it. Plus, if they don't do it, I have gotten a few job offers. Cool. Nice. Know your so, were you, were you told, like, oh, we're considering it? Or did they agree or, or deny you already? Or did they say anything about it at all? Maybe yeah. depending. Really bad res. Okay. Forsyth actually Spooky has says, pretty decent res for an armor knight. Spooky says, I blame the queen for all the rain. We haven't gotten a lot of rain since she disappeared. You think that's a coincidence? <laughs> I guess not. That's goofy. Um Oh, actually, can I warp in one of the one of the archers? And then like just totally pick them off as they approach yeah no uh just like get the um get the witch out of here 
before mm, she cool. becomes a problem. There's another one, but she's all the way over here, and that's probably okay. Let's teleport it. What's the range on this? We're next to a target, move again. Is it just forever? Is there no range on that? I don't know how it works. Chris <laughs> says, uh, or Spooky says, see, Chris, you gotta ask for more, like 1.5 million in unmarked bills in a helicopter. True. <laughs> Um, and Chris says, considering it currently, but they know if they don't, uh, well, they fucked. <laughs> <clears throat> well, that's good. Quit the other day, right? Like early, like before she was supposed to leave. What happened? Uh, his boss quit the other day. Oh yeah, that's right. Like, su like suddenly. Mm -hmm. Um... Chris says, yeah, she quit early. But in bad news, I got to remove a back tooth because the wisdom tooth got to it. Yep, that sucks. Yikes. Oh, heck. Yeah, that's always a fun thing. <clears throat> um, Then we can move up. You are here. You can get to him, but you is in the woods. Uh, You're fine. Well, what's her speed? I just don't want her to, like, one-shot me because I'm not paying attention. She does double, and her attack is 12, might is 4, so she's going to do 16 damage times 2 mitigated by 4. So she doesn't kill Lucas, but, like, it's bad. So let's keep our armor knights out. I mean, this is the range for the freaking archer, though. She can teleport wherever she wants. Witches are so annoying, what are you supposed to do about them? I just have units with low res, I'm sorry. <clears throat> um, Matilda has a lot of res though. See, look at the pretty girl on the horse. Teleport to her instead of her beefcake boyfriend, please. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, we'll just do this. This is fine. This is okay. Oh, we're just gonna... Okay. Whatever. What am I meant to do? Other than just, like, take hits? <clears throat> Oh, Gray's so strong. Look at him, 20 attack. Very good. Hey, Bread's here. How you doing, Bread? Good to see ya. <clears throat> Bread! All right, I haven't seen just... you in ages. How are you? How's the Koi Pond? That's right. You guys have got the Koi Pond going now. Referring to the tooth, Chris says, I will replace it one day, though, so it'll be fine. Yeah, fair. Okay. Mm. Still sucks, but... You should get like a sick like gold tooth. I guess it's a back tooth. You won't really see it's it. It's a back tooth. No one's gonna see it. <laughs> yeah, but you'll know. <laughs> I don't know. <clears throat> Forsyth has been ready to level up for a long time. It's time that he actually does. Ooh. <gasps> That's a good level. That's a lot of XP. And a really good level. Holy squid Forsyth. Oh my gosh. Good job, uh, guys. Spook Spooky says that Gray deserves a raise. Uh, Bread says, Koi Pond is good. It is currently ugly, but it's a natural phase that a new pond goes through while establishing an ecosystem. Yeah, well, that's good. That's kind of awesome, actually. Yeah. <clears throat> well, and the fact that you know that instead of just being like, it's ugly, let me fix it. I have to clean it. Yeah. Uh, all the witches are gone, so I think actually what I'm going to do is I'm just going to have Silk Warp Lucas over, like, here. And then just have him get in the way of all of them. <laughs> now there's nothing you can do but shoot at me from across the river! Oh! <laughs> uh, here is the aforementioned beef, uh, like, uh, one of the beefcakes, I guess, just beating the shit out of these fucking archers now. Hmm. He just runs through them. Yep. What the fuck? Yep. Away. <laughs> what do you got there, bud? A sharp stick? Hmm. It's not gonna stop a train. 
Dang it, Luthier. We need to get Luthier a little bit of help, I think. He does need some help, I think. Yeah, it might be worth it to give him the cheese. <clears throat> Fun is fact, speed that's his how, issue? Uh, it's part of it, yeah. He just missed mm. one attack and then it got doubled, and it's like, that's terrible. hate when that mm. happens. Um, We can put Gray over here and just have him, like, counterattack, I guess. Hobin... Fine. There's no reason to put them like in harm's way, necessarily. I do wish I had more healers. I don't think the Pegasus Knights are going to be really helpful in this map. Uh, Cliff has a lot of defense. Uh, Brett says, fun fact, that's how a lot of people ruin their aquariums. They get ugly, so people clean every inch, and it gets worse because they kill the good stuff, too. Well, <clears throat> it's good to know what you're doing, then. Man, it's so cool that, like, you guys take care of, like, so many animals, but you do it in a way that's, like, you know what you're doing. I definitely had a coworker who would, like, adopt dogs when she was upset, and it's like, you shouldn't do that. Nope. This is not, this is not what you should be doing. That's you should not be, very like... Consistent. What's, like, the maximum number of dogs? How many times do you get to be sad before you have too many dogs? I mean, it wasn't, like, a, she had, like, she had, like, two or three dogs, but, like, but I remember her telling me, like, that was, like, the reason... You know? At one point, it was like, that's not a good reason to, to do that. No, not really. I mean, sometimes it's for, like, companionship reasons or whatever, but, like, still. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> you have taken your last step in this realm. Now prepare to visit the next. <laughs> Gray's just like, uh, no you, dude. <laughs> Like, <clears throat> news of the Uno reverse card hasn't reached Regal yet, has it? <laughs> the what? Ugh. No, you. <laughs> <laughs> That's incredible. The fact that it was a crit back is the funniest part, I think. Yeah. <laughs> Stupid. Um... He's Amon. Um. Well, we gotta try. Get him, Tobin. All right. Well, we did try. Get him, Lucas. All right, we sorta of got him. And then we still have Gray. I don't. Just that. Fucked up gold star. It's just your did it. <laughs> An attempt was made. <laughs> <laughs> What's the matter, dude? You don't even have bow range plus two. <laughs> Chump. <clears throat> uh, we can put Matilda over here. That's fine. We can put Alm. That's fine. Uh, Brett, Brett said Justin had roommates like that. They killed so many animals. That's very unfortunate. I... I had beta fish when I was a kid. And, uh... I definitely killed some beta fish. Um... It was, it was, it was kind of a, it was kind of a thing of me being, like, somewhat young, and... Like, because I remember, I remember what happened with the first one was, like, I was very new, I, I was very excited to have a fish, and I was like, I need to take care of them. And I ended up just overfeeding them. Because I was just like, fish need to eat. Eat more fish. Um. Oh. Oh, man. Yeah. Hey, when that happens. Yeah, I was, um, I was pretty little. Um, and then I had uh, another beta fish after that. I got a second chance. And I had learned my lesson, and I think that I underfed it. Ah, you learned a little too well. Fair enough. Yeah. I think that's what happened. And then, um... And I did have a third fish, and that one was fine. Nice. That one was, uh... uh you know... I had, uh... I had learned my lesson enough to be, like... 
I'll take care of this one. And that one that one lived a lot longer than the other ones. <laughs> oh, bread. Okay. Um, man, we're just sad animal stories now. Mike has uh, my brother poured soda in the fish tank. Oh no. Uh, they were thirsty. Uh, Greg says, uh, I definitely killed some animals as a kid, too. Looking back, why the heck did my parents let me have all those animals? Uh, kid, kids are persistent. Um, uh, Chris, uh, Lena says, uh, when I was in second grade, I took my goldfish out of the tank to touch them, and they died soon after. Yeah. Uh, Lena says, in college, my beta fish were fine, except they kept dying of dropsy. I don't know what that which is. is it's a fish thing that happens sometimes. It's not... Mm. Jesus. Uh, Brett says, A friend of mine had an aquarium of axolotls. His little sister wanted to pet them and took a hammer to the tank. That's not what petting is! Take a hammer and pet the axolotl. No, not <laughs> hit the axolotl, hit the tank. Yeah, I know, but like, what would you... I gotta get them out. They're in glass. Okay. Jesus Christ. Mike says the frog lived. The frog was effectively immortal. It got out and slapped around by the cat and was fine. <laughs> okay. okay. All right. That's the kind of frog I want. I want a I want a like giant frog that can like stare down a cat and not blink. Uh, Justin has redeemed a shameful plug and asks Liam, tell me about these socials. Socials. I haven't left my house in a while. Um, uh, shameful plug. Okay, well, uh, the, I'm I'm caught off guard. I'm, I'm in strategy mode, and also hearing about dead animals. Um, I this is. Do you like hearing about dead animals? <laughs> oh gosh, I hope not. But if you do like random topics, we've got a we've got a. This is a fun channel for, for you to so consider following so you know when you get the alerts whenever um Whenever we go live, there's a discord server you can join for the same sort of thing and also where people will post memes and ridiculous other things There is a Twitter account with my name on it that I use to tweet when I'm going to go live And if you don't want to hear my crummy internet opinions, don't worry. I don't put any of them on there um no, uh, you can't, I you can follow if you like, you can subscribe if you like, and you get to use our whooper emote. And I have to eat some mystery candy. Spooky beat me to the punch by about five seconds, by the way. Um <laughs> just just so you're aware. Um Lena says that dropsy is a sign of organ failure, it's fluid under the scales and it makes them pine cone. Most people will euthanize them, but mine went too fast for that. Mm. Um Oh god, okay. Spooky says, I had a lobster, it escaped, we got a new one, then we found the first one in the filter of the fish tank, then we put one lobster in each tank. The one from the filter broke the thermostat and boiled every single fish in the tank. The only oh, one god. that survived was that goddamn lobster. Jesus Christ. Uh, Mike Lo says, aquatic frog, by the way, like, out of water too long and die frog. Um, why can, yeah. why can silk walk across the water? I don't know. I don't know. Is it because she's a um, saint? Like what? Maybe. Shut up. <laughs> um, Brett says, bro, we have these giant bullfrogs that you would love. Um, <gasps> and Justin says, sorry, I was talking about dead animals. Could you do it again? And would you shameful plug again? Because we didn't put a cooldown on it. Okay. <laughs> Give me a second to finish eating that. <laughs> This one's not so bad. This handful of, of candy's not so bad. I've definitely had Fred a lot says, of worse. Fred says we could talk about alive animals if you want, and I cannot tell you exactly how much more I would love that in the current topic of conversation, if I'm yeah, honest with you. Live animals is very good. Um, <clears throat> um, I also would love to see the bullfrogs that you guys have. I think they're so cool. Liam, you know what else you also have? What's a YouTube that? channel. Oh yeah, there's a YouTube channel if you want to watch the VODs and catch up on all the stuff that we've done previously. We've played a lot of games. Um, and? And... What am I missing? No, he redeemed it a second time. <laughs> oh, okay. There's a YouTube to watch the VODs! Please subscribe to whatever... <laughs> 
things there are to subscribe to if you want. Um, there is, I have, there's a Discord server. Join it for goofs and memes and, and stream notifications if you prefer to receive them in that form. If you don't prefer to receive them in that form, there's also a Twitter account that you can follow where I post whenever I'm going to go live. Um, and that's it. Um, whooper emotes, I don't know. <laughs> I can never remember I'm... what I've said already. I don't want to say that's the same fine. thing you twice. Got it. You got all of it. That's fine. Okay, okay. I got um, all of it. Okay. Brett says, I have a dumb video, but you need to start. All right, no more shameful plugs, but it's not this one. We need to talk about something else. <laughs> There's another. Okay, what... all right. As much as I, I'm going to refund you. As much as I would love to hear Liam talk about this. No, 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 no. We have forever. to at least let them have the hat trick. Three times, third right. time's the charm. Maybe right, somebody fine. will you follow if we do it. I gave you the points back. <laughs> All right, hat trick. Go I'm going to get it right this time. I'm going to get it right this time. Oh, let's see if you can get it in one. This is the illustrious Twitch channel, Ryamu Ikasama, where me, Liam, also known as Lemon, and Sean, known as Salisbury Steak, is goof about random things while we play fun video games and do awful voice acting. If you like this, consider following or perhaps subscribing. If you would like more of this than we are able to provide on a weekly basis, there is a YouTube channel where you may watch literally hundreds of hours of us doing this. There is a Twitter account where you can get stream notifications if you prefer to receive them there, and a Discord if you prefer to receive them there. We're good. Cool. All right. Just making sure I got all that for the clip. Um, <laughs> <laughs> listen, you got, we got to make a channel trailer at some point. Yeah, I guess so. Save the game? <laughs> all right, I'll save the game. We will do that. Uh... Brett has given us a dog video in Discord, uh, apparently of my dog rubbing all over her pillow. Give me a minute. Okay, she get, we gave her a minute and it's there now. Um, Justin says, this is the we will let you play fire remove over our dead bodies stream. Oh, great. Another one of those. That's always a good time. It's very funny. That could have gone better. All right, Lucas, you're up. No. Okay. Wow. That Here, was... I'm gonna save the game. That was a little disappointing. Yeah, well, you know, we only had a 50% chance to hit, which for me, you know, is closer to like a 5% chance. Oh, it's true. You did have a 5% chance though. That's too much for you, honestly. Mm-hmm. Oh, he's having a good time. I'm looking at the dog video. It's very good. It's in general because that's where it belongs. Get He's him, very Python. happy. Your, your dog is very happy. Oh, we got the curled tail up, ready to go. <laughs> very cozy. <laughs> cool. Love to see it. Mm -hmm. Spooky oh. says, imagine doing only three HP with a critical hit, <laughs> which is correct. Yeah, yeah, I mean, that's, you know, that's Lucas pathetic, for you. Honestly, yeah, it's true. He's in the house. Um, I think we die because like four people failed to hit him. Come on, Tobin. You guys are seeing this, right? Like, I'm not like asleep and having like a stress stream about how the stream is gonna go tomorrow. This is fine. I'm in your dream making you drink while we're okay. Thank you. Ah, thanks, Brad. 
I'm not missing any redemptions, am I? We're, we're caught up. I have to save the game. Uh, you have to... I thought you already did save the game, but okay, you can save I did, it I did, I did, I did. It's good to make sure, it's fine. Man said, choo-choo, buh. To die at the hands of worthless vermin, how shameful. Okay. It's a shame that your horse is also apparently dead. Yeah. Horse didn't ask for this. No. Uh, Justin says, Oh, God. <laughs> the only emotion I can feel is the, th the thrill of smelling an enemy, the enemy's blood. Thank you, Rolf. Very cool. <laughs> Thank you, Rolf. Oh, oh, boy. Oh, we've uh, got some fun stuff going up in, uh, Oh god, what the fuck? I have to um, let me open the dock real quick cuz I'm Rudolph and I think I'm also Burkut. You are red white is Burkut. I do not remember what you did for uh Rudolph. I believe I did a voice sort of like this for Rudolph. Quizened is the note that I have, so He's sort of dignified and and uh very very deep. Like so soon Burkut. <clears throat> Sire, I was merely are the tales true? You challenged the, the Dumadash for sport and lost. Uh, forgive me, Uncle. They provided to be. They proved to me more skilled than I first imagined. Hmm. Oh, we've got him. We've got him. He's here. Mm. Oh, God. I gotta find him. <laughs> That's not where we are. <clears throat> yeah, we're not quite Marge. <laughs> what a di most distressing turn of events! Yeah. Our own Lord Bakut broken by a band of farmers and cowhands. Did you mean to drag your knight's honor through the dung whilst playing? Hold your tongue! You are a servant to our house, and you dare insult Rigel's finest! It is far more sensible for Claude such as you to stay cowering in your robes! <clears throat> you forget that we answer to none but Duma, father of all Rigel. Brud says, imagine having cows for hands. <laughs> no. That's that's a lot of hands. That's a lot of hands and a lot of stomachs. Cows are big. Stomachs. Cows are big. Though I may be a servant, it is certainly not to you. We shall see who cowers in the end. What are you implying? Emperor Rudolph, allow me to put your heart at ease. It is true that Dumadash is nearing the sluice gate at our border. We've gotten 13 messages about it. <laughs> <laughs> is that why my phone is not shut off? Alm is approaching. I've had my phone put in the dungeon. <clears throat> oh, God. Oh, you read the line. This, okay. I read the line. The sluice gate. He just wants to hear me say it again. No, I, I definitely don't. Oh, look at him, Liam. I'm proud of you. <laughs> However, it is guarded by Tatara, one of the Duma Faithful's finest arcanists. You couldn't hit me with a third F there, bud? <laughs> and as I understand it, he has come across a most interesting toy. I have the utmost faith he will make short work of those rebels. Sire! What now, Bakut? Tatara may yet fail. Permit me to take my men to the border. If Dumadash does break past the sluice, they must reckon with me! Hmm. That's a terrible idea. This time I will smash their puny rebellion once and for all. I swear it. You must give me one last chance. <laughs> Very well. If they try to set foot on our land, they are to pay dearly. Am I understood? Yes, uncle! Sire! <clears throat> what silliness! The rebels will be dead long before they reach the border! Ha <laughs> ha 
I don't know the fucking Skeletor laugh. <laughs> Sorry. Really? That's like what he does. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, sure. uh, Brett says, do you reckon? I think he reckons. <laughs> I do reckon, sir, but I do not reckon with you. You'd better reckon. The day of reckoning is coming indeed. <laughs> no, Liam, you're thinking of the fucking wizard from Awakening. <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh, right. uh, what is this? I did her. Uh, Renea, yeah. Christ. She like... Okay, cool. I literally have Hinata written down. Very cool. Okay. <laughs> good, good notes. Oh! <sighs> Rakut, my lord! I'm very distressed at the moment, Renea. <clears throat> have you finished your report to the Emperor? Yes. We march for the border. <laughs> Again? But we only just returned home. It was my choice. I had to beg the Emperor for a chance of redemption. All because of that... <laughs> All because of that maggot, Alm. Because of him, I had to sit there while the snake Jetta spat venom at me. I will so, make like, him in the middle pay of for line. this disgrace a hundredfold! I'd like to imagine that we just have, like, uh, uh, Rudolph's phone buzzing in the background, um, where it's just, like, a notification, Dasher Alm is approaching. <laughs> <laughs> what the- who the fu- nu- nu- Nui Baba? Uh, so, Nui Baba is, um, uh, another, like, named- like, like chapter boss who oh like grief okay a little bit yeah 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 a little bit like grief where it's like um more more threatening than like dingus or whatever the guy's name was um gazelle hold on i'm getting a phone call give me a second um uh, also nui baba has had very much a character design change since gaiden i'll be right back I have no context for who exactly that might. I don't know the original, so I can't know the change. That makes it difficult for me, I guess. But um, I need him to give me a vibe check. Brad, give me a vibe check on Nui Baba without spoiling anything, so I can maybe think of a voice before Liam gets back. I had taken Irma, and I think he uh, and Liam took Est. I don't know. We didn't meet a lot of people last time. She's hot. Um, hello. <laughs> uh, that was a, that was. A... <laughs> she's hot is not helpful, Brad. <laughs> that was a that was a wrong number. I got um, uh, I got someone who very curtly was just like, make sure your daughter got the email, and I was like, uh. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I don't know who you were meant to talk, be talking to, but I don't, I don't know your daughter. Yeah. <laughs> I, I'll make sure, but. Mm hmm. Uh, but like Nui Baba is like swamp witch something, if I recall. <laughs> Did she get the email, Liam Neeson? I don't know. It's none of my business. <clears throat> All right. You go, do, would you like to do swamp witch? Or would you like me to come up with them, come up with something? Uh, you you go ahead. I've got I have a lot of voices in the scene. <clears throat> <laughs> oh, there we go. Okay, I like it. What grieves you? <laughs> uh, Nui Baba, not you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's great. That's awesome. <laughs> These halls have been dark without your unique fire to light them, my lord. <laughs> Brent's like, my that's just Elmo. <laughs> Treasure this meeting when I return to my post on Fear Mountain. Oh, very aptly <laughs> named mountain, I may say. I am an expert at naming things, you see. Master Jetta honors me with a mountain. Yet, I hear he has not done the same for you. 
Perhaps because of your <laughs> embarrassing loss at the hands of those rebel scum. Your faithful are in dire need of a lesson on how to speak to nobility. Mm. <laughs> and I am certain you would be a most fearsome teacher. <laughs> Quit laughing at me. I haven't said anything funny. <laughs> Regardless, you wrong me, Lord Brukut. I merely wish to end you. <laughs> <laughs> now that's a laugh. How could you help me? All of you clawed the heels of your god while ignoring his first teaching. You wish for men to be strong, not a pack of supplicating fools. <clears throat> oh, so you do not need our power. <laughs> I see. Just, I see. <laughs> yeah, that's the line that brings her back to reality. <laughs> then I pray you farewell in your battle at the border, for should you lose... <laughs> well, I doubt your uncle would give you a third chance. What? Is this the fourth? <laughs> <laughs> For all your stubborn words, you have some wisdom. <laughs> you have seen what the capable are, are capable of in battle, I, I know it. <laughs> Father Duma's power is vast and not to be looked down upon. Lord... Lord, Lord Jedi even went so far as to offer the father his own daughters. <laughs> yes, it is true. Marla and Hestia both. In turn, the father rewarded Lord Jedi with incredible magic. I forgot Renee was still here. She's just been listening to this conversation the whole time. His, his own daughters? How dreadful. <clears throat> Do you see now, Lord Bakuth? If you would taste Duma of Duma's power, I will conduct the ceremony myself. Come to my abode. Never. Victory over all would mean nothing if not won by my own hand. Oh, so is this one of those things that happens where he's like, no, not now, and then we go fight him again at the border and win, and he's like, well, I can't go back to my uncle now. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> wow. I just, I'm, I'm precognizant. Justin says Berkut and Nui Baba have vision based on movement. If she sits still, they don't know she hears them. <laughs> oh my god. So prideful! Very well, but at least allow me to give you this. What is this? A mirror? I've got 12 of them in my chamber. <clears throat> One filled with my sorcery! <laughs> of course, I believe you when you say you have no need for such tricks. But one day you may find yourself cornered and without recourse. Oh, I wonder when that's gonna happen. I wonder what that means. <laughs> oh, what's that? If that day comes, shatter the mirror! It shall answer your call. <laughs> but Nui Baba, tricks of her kids. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for that one, Justin. <laughs> That's the line, by the way. <clears throat> Are you certain? <laughs> <laughs> you think of it as a, a safeguard if that helps. Something. Just in case. <laughs> May the tides turn in your favor, my lord. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent.
excellent. <laughs> excellent. Super right. and Nui Baba just laughing at each other. <laughs> an hour. Yeah, two of them giggling yeah. back and forth. Like, fantastic. All right, well, it was, let's catch up on chat. It's been... It's been a little bit. Waluigi's on the phone talking about his chair's extended warranty. <laughs> Why to me though? It's fine if Waluigi's excited about his new chair, but I have nothing to do with that. <clears throat> I don't know who you are or what you want. What I do know is that I have a set of particular skills, most of them related to Japanese anime. <laughs> Uh, this, the Nui Baba voice is just Elmo, but he's taken a little too much of the Joker's laughing toxin. <clears throat> Not entirely incorrect. Not entirely incorrect. And then, uh, uh, Spooky has, uh, redeemed, uh, choose a convo topic. What do you think is up with Popeye? Spinach ain't supposed to turn a man into a rage beast. Hey, listen, spinach is good for you. High in iron and vitamin A. Good for muscle development. Good for your blood. There you go. Or it's just vegetable propaganda. No vegetal. Or it's vegetable propaganda, but honestly, spinach is tasty, so... Uh. To, to be honest with you, I will actually eat spinach and artichoke dip at, like, at, like, Applebee's and, like, it's similar places. It's smothering cheese, and there's, like, only the vaguest hint of there once being spinach in the dish. Liam will eat it. I've also had, like, Very spinach cool. and cheese bread that a friend of mine baked. Very good. Sure, okay. Um, so, it is, like, of the leaves, it's one of the ones that I have eaten and enjoyed, you know. In some form or another, that isn't zero. Yeah. That isn't nothing. Yep. It, it's it's not something that, like, I eat in spite of it, you know? It's something that, like, I've actually enjoyed sure. when it's part of things. <clears throat> sure. Yeah, it's fair. Um, all right, let's go, let's go, um, let's go engage with the, uh, slowest gate. Brett's, Brett says that's, like, two vegetables that Liam will eat. It's a miracle. <laughs> You know, yeah. Um, not devoid of context. There Jesus must be Christ. some cheeses, some context for it, you know, but. I, Justin, unfortunately, says spinach actually just triggers his PTSD. I don't want the sailor to be triggered by his oh, PTSD no. to oh, save no. his girlfriend. That sucks. Um, <clears throat> Yikes. Popeye is oh, kind of an interesting character, though. Like, um... I mean, I don't know. I don't know if interesting is the right word. There's not a whole lot to him. But um, what year did they start making Popeye cartoons? Because that's like a really old one. <clears throat> uh, 1929 was the first wow. feature. Originally, he was a comic. He was a comic book character. Or, or, I mean, his primary form is a comic book. It was made into a several TV show things later. That I didn't know. Yeah, it was on like Boomerang for a while. Yeah, I have seen Popeye and Boomerang before, yeah. Yeah, but I remember seeing, like, really old, like, grainy black and white Popeye, and it's, like, 1929 is, like, that's a long time ago for, like, animation. Holy squid. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, that's, like, only just after, like, original, like, Mickey Mouse, like, Steamboat Willie type shit. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. I think they did a death battle where it was, like, Popeye versus... Was it One Punch Man? <laughs> Jesus Christ. I think it was Popeye versus Saitama. Okay. <laughs> All right. All right. Why spinach? I want to know that. We'll go there in, in a minute. Mm -hmm. Um, Jesus. I probably should read a line eventually. We'll get back to that in a minute. I fight to the um, finish because I eat my me spinach. <clears throat> Speaking of spinach, here's Alm, our green haired boy. So this is the Zofian Sluice Gate. It's massive. That's one massive sluice. Indeed it is. <laughs> and were it to collapse, the damage would be more massive still. Jesus, Lucas. <laughs> Lighten up like a little bit. <laughs> I am neither light nor dark. I am entirely gray. Oh, you sure are, bud. <laughs> then we need to get it open before it's too late. I mean, that's his whole shtick, right? It's like nothing stirs emotion within him. That was like the thing that he confided in like Clive or whatever. Yeah, and he's like a little bit like self-conscious about it. He's like, should I be like more worried about things? Should I be like... Should I care more? Basically? Should I care? Like, yeah. It, it's not like he um, doesn't care, but it's just like he doesn't feel like the, you know, stirred up emotions and all that. <clears throat> 
Uh, all right, Liam, so I'm going to toss Tatara back at you, and I don't know if you've looked at our, our, our lovely voice <laughs> voice hook. Um, we have, my notes are old, evil, no teeth. <laughs> so the del Deliverance finally <laughs> delivered <laughs> themselves to me. <laughs> are you Tatara? The one and only. Permit me to introduce my new servant as well. That girl. Um, I don't know. If she's not. She spoke at one point, right? Who I don't her? think so. We've never actually there met were, her. No. Was it just Tatara talking about her before? I think so. I think, and the Is villagers were talking about her as well. Okay. I don't think we've I actually ever that, met her. She's I been here the whole time. Her, I thought we saw her on screen, and there was like one thing that she said in that um, cutscene. Okay. Maybe. Did we write down? No. Did we write it down? No, I didn't write it down. Okay. Then uh, maybe she didn't say anything. Yeah. That girl. <laughs> Go, Delphia. Use the tackle attack. Hmm. Put the fear of Duma back in the least faceless force. Smite them with your aura. That's terrifying. Mm -hmm. Smite them with your aura. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, Bread says, actually, the first animation was in ancient... Oh, that's cool. Still. Ah! <laughs> okay, if I'm Luthier, do you want to be uh, Delphia so I can be Gollum? Oh, Jesus Christ. What's the... <laughs> what is... What do I... Man, what do I even do for Delphia? Give me something. I'll... Sure, but like, I... Like, what, though? Samwise Gamgee, but he thinks that Gollum is Frodo. You certainly said the names of characters in Lord of the Rings. Sam! Nope. We've got to go, Mr. Frodo. If I take one more step, I'll be the furthest from home I've ever been. Uh, oh, uh, I mean, that's j I'm going to do like kind of down here sort of country voice. That's not much, but okay. <laughs> uh, uh, enemies of Tartaro must die. <laughs> I think Brett is very confused that you don't know Sam. <laughs> no, I, I know I know what the character looks like. I haven't seen like a Lord of the Rings movie in eternity. Potatoes. Uh Oh, what are you doing? Snap out of it. Strike her down before she ends you. Hit her with your sword. <laughs> <clears throat> no. Okay. Thanks, Mom. I promised Luthier I would bring his sister home safe. But, Om, um, you're going to... Everyone, stay clear of Delphia's magic. And whatever you do, do not kill her. That's an order. Okay. Um, if we eliminate Tatara, that should release his hold on my sister. I beg of you, please help her. All right, now I actually get to take a look at the map here. Luthier, did you not hear what we were like just talking about like a minute ago? Where like all explicitly, okay. Okay, it's freaking all mages, which is very obnoxious. You have Meyer, which means you're gonna be just like. No, Meyer's not the one that. No, Meyer is the one that's like a pain. Right. Um. Yeah. On the on the topic of Popeye, Brett says uh, actually the first animation was in ancient Egypt where you had to run through the halls really fast and the hieroglyphics would move. I don't think that th I. Sure. Okay. Thank you, Brad. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I uh, was. I went back to that because I was like, "Oh, okay. This is something serious." Brad knows what she's done. Oh. Route the enemy. Okay. Route them. Yeah. Um. All right. Popeye. Mm. Popeye and spinach. This is what I want to know. <laughs> oh.
Aha. Uh -huh. No, no, it just. No notes about spinach. Yeah, um, like frequently circulated story claims that Flesher's choice of spinach to get Popeye strength was based on faulty calculations of its iron content. In the story, a scientist misplaced a decimal point in an 1870 measurement of spinach iron content, uh, leading to an iron value 10 times higher than it should have been. The error was not a slip decimal point, but a measurement error, which was corrected in the 1930s. However, the myth of extraordinarily high iron content persisted. I see. Uh, the strip is also uh, responsible for popularizing, though not inventing, the word goon. Huh. Goons in Popeye's world were large humanoids with indistinctly drawn faces that were particularly known uh, for being muscle and slave labor by Popeye's nemesis, the Sea Hag. I see. Interesting. I thought his nemesis was the goon. Was uh, yeah in the com or in the in the cartoon, but not in the comic. Oh, you're talking about the comic. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah. <clears throat> Didn't expect Python to crit there, but that's fine. Huh. In honor of Popeye's 75th anniversary, the Empire State Building illuminated by its notable tower lights, uh, illuminated its notable tower lights green the weekend of January 16th to 18th, 2004, as a tribute to the icon's love of spinach. This special lighting marked the only time the Empire State Building ever celebrated the anniversary slash birthday of a comic strip character. Huh. Interesting. Okay. <clears throat> Spooky's His name is... Why can't I eat 10,000 banana in 10 minutes without dying from nuclear poisoning? Um, you actually won't die from nuclear poisoning. You will die from eating 10,000 bananas in 10 minutes. Uh, Brett says I can't because I'm allergic, but you need to try harder. <laughs> <laughs> Sean, how does spinach grow? I think it grows like like all grouped together, like similar to like a head of lettuce. Maybe I'm wrong. Like similar to a head of lettuce is what I imagine, just like a bunch of it. I know it's got like big leaves. I not know. inherently, not like super big, but yeah, the, they're wide. How does spinach grow? Tell me, tell me, Google. I, this is not, I never know where we're going to fucking go in these streams. And this is not what I, yeah, it's like a bushel. It grows like a bushel. <laughs> okay, cool. Spinach is neat. I love spinach. I don't hate it. It is probably my preferred leafy green. Very closely followed by arugula, but I think I probably prefer spinach more of the time. Watercress is also good. I think I'm with you. I think I'm with yeah. you in there. Mm. Silk did not come to play. <clears throat> Honestly, I can probably just march her like right in here and just mess with all the all these dudes. <laughs> Brett says heads of lettuce on the ground boggle my mind. Like I could just take a bite right there and it would taste like lettuce and not the other gross leaves in my yard. It probably <laughs> also taste like dirt, but <laughs> you can do that. You are correct. Ah, notable characters from the comic strips of Popeye. The Sea Hag's vultures, including her favorite, Bernard. <laughs> cat just sneezed. Okay. Bless you, cat. Yeah. Uh, I need to get us in here. Matilda is actually really good for fighting these guys because she doesn't. Uh, she's got very good res. What is your range? There, okay, which means I can put Matilda here. John's doing a deep dive on spinach. I'm deep dive. I'm, I'm deep diving Popeye. I'm, uh, I'm sorry, I'm don't get out of that. <laughs> it's okay. That's all right. Um, we probably should like block you guys off. I don't want to like take too much damage though. Like also from 
Sean, I'm deep diving Popeye. It's fine. It's fine. You need to make sure that guy dies. Did you... Spooky asks, did you know the ducks in the park are free? I already have about 20 of them. <laughs> they don't belong to anybody. You can just go and take them. <laughs> you should take them. <laughs> Sean's going to get ads for fried chicken for weeks. Oh my gosh. Would Can you call I, would I you call that uh would you call that an abduction? Boo. <laughs> I had to replace a part of my vacuum cleaner recently, um, just that wore out, and um now I keep getting ads for vacuum cleaners on my YouTube videos. It's not great. Mm. <clears throat> Yeah, get him, Forsyth. Fuck him up. Nice. Doing the freight train move. I mean, they sure died. Yeah. Uh, and then these guys can't get over there. Okay, and then it's just this guy right here who's probably... Uh, let's do this. Don't crit, though. And then we'll give the XP to Luthier. Who could definitely use a promotion. <clears throat> duck Thanks. eggs are great for cooking. I've had duck eggs before. They're okay. Uh... <laughs> Spooky says, I keep getting ads for the US Marines. And Bread asks, do you eat crayon spooky? <laughs> Which I don't know if is related. <laughs> the, but... No, that's a joke about the Marines. That's like a... Wait, is it? Yeah. Like, the idea is that they're just such meatheads that they just eat crayons. Ah, okay, I see. Yeah, I've heard... I, I've met, like, customers um, at, uh, like, at my old job at Harbor Freight that would, like... That were like military and all of the branches of the, mi the military like to bash on each other you know to be like oh no we're the best and everyone sure. else eats crayons you know <laughs> great okay <laughs> what the fuck okay sure yeah that's a thing <laughs> that's weird okay i've literally never heard of that particular... okay all right i learned today yeah it's been an educational stream for all of us really you come here to get educated <laughs> Justin says, wow, Liam knew an American thing that Sean didn't. You, True. you, you say that like I'm like not from America. <laughs> uh, we'll keep uh. these guys like just out of reach, I think, actually. And then you guys can hit them. Yeah, this is fine. You can you name one name voice me. actor. Including your uncle! <laughs> Well, <laughs> he's trying his best. Liam's trying his best perpetually. Listen, Sean has long been frustrated at my uh, how much I uh, live under a rock. It is a constant source of frustration for me. I love him anyway. <laughs> <laughs> but oh, we can just like take these guys out with the archers, yeah. Chris says, since this is an educational uh, channel, how do I avoid paying taxes? Bread says fraud. Who's fraud? Good job, Gray. You had a 54% yeah. chance to hit and you hit both times. And your level up is terrible. What's the name of the asshole that left us? Fraudrick. Got it. Fraudrick. Because he's a sham. His loyalties are junk. And I'm sure that I can't wait for the redemption story of, oh, he's sorry and learned his lesson and he's back now. And it's like, ah, oh, character development. What are we talking about? <laughs> if he, uh, if he comes back in this game, the dude who defected. Oh, Fernand, yeah. Fernand, not Frederick. 
That, that's probably I made, why I didn't know what the heck you were talking about. I made about. a joke that didn't land because I'm a fool. It's fine. It's, it's fine. fine. It's fine. Another case of Liam knowing more than me. Uh, you know, it happens once in a while. It does. Frequently, in fact. Um, well. All right. So Chris has asked, how do I avoid paying taxes? Uh, our answer so far. Fraud. Just don't. Be rich. Okay. Any cool. of those will do. Those are all actionable enough. Ow. This is very ow. Wow. Mm. We're gonna get Cliff the fuck out of there. We need, we're gonna need to get everybody out of there. Everyone's gonna take way too much damage. Never mind, because he's gonna miss, which is great. Um, yeah, Meyer just has like such high base base damage. Imagine missing at point blank range. Taste Did my you? urns. Hmm. Uh, Bread would spell your name wrong on purpose. <laughs> All right, and then you basically are going to have to deal with the Pegasus Knights, like the archers and everybody. Okay. Pegasus. And everyone else, like, march this way. It's still just mages, though, so, like, everyone... No one wants to go in there. Yeah. Did you think we were gonna fight the mage boss and not fight mages? Ah, uh, but I, but there's but there was three horse guys. I just wish there was more horse guys <laughs> and less mages. I just blazed through all of the horse guys and now it's just mages. Yeah. <laughs> sure. <sighs> okay. Here we'll go. All right, this will do. Don't miss the second one. I Don't thought. miss. All right, Gray, get him. Get him, Gray. Yeah, that's right. Good boy, Gray. All right. Uh, and now it's you have higher resistance. Actually, can we just like one shot him? Yes, we can. Cool. Nice. Good job, Claire. <clears throat> and I think that means that Claire can promote now. Woo! That'd be cool. Excellent. Yes! Alright, very good. And then, uh, you are going to need to... We don't have Physic. Uh, but we can put Lucas over here and then have Silk come on up here and recover him. Um, it'd be very cool to have a second healer on this route. Delphi is gonna come at us. Maybe we, we just recruit another healer. Uh, eventually, uh, yes. Healer at some point. Okay. Yeah. I thought so. I was like, one is a lot for them to look at you and say, "Make it through, idiot." <laughs> yeah. Like, what if she dies and you're playing like, uh, you know, like permadeath Iron Man stuff, and it's like. Well, that's that, I guess. It's, we're munching on bread the whole time. Not our, not our viewer bread. I mean, like, I mean, like, bread bread. Like, like the food? Like the food bread. Oh, Liam. Go here and you can go here. Just, just my favorite disaster. You know what? If you're going to be a, a disaster, you might as well be someone's favorite disaster. <laughs> okay, sure. Oh my god, sure. Bread is my favorite disaster, too. <laughs> ah. Death. Ugh. What the heck am I You're supposed what? to do about this guy without killing Delphia? Uh, Brett is uh, attempting to uh, uh, give us an obituary uh, example, sample writing. Um, here lies Justain. He loved his whole family, like Mario, Doom Guy, and Roosevelt from Civ 5. He will be mourned <laughs> by his ex girlfriend, his girl foe, and some guinea pigs. His service will be live streamed at 9 p.m. Eastern on Sunday. The Toad Scream <laughs> Symphony will begin at 10. 
<laughs> okay. It's incredible. Uh, Chris says, what am I your favorite of? Oh, God, Chris. Uh, how do I put it? Uh, what is a what is an apt uh, noun for for one who one who speaks curses into the world? Uh, a warlock. My favorite warlock, Chaos Incarnate. Uh, Spooky says my uh, favorite disaster was the Great Fire of London. Oh. Well, there's no accounting for taste. <laughs> I want you guys to know that she pronounces Roosevelt like Roosevelt. Oh, this is bad. Oh, this is bad. I don't... Oh... I didn't realize okay. she could teleport. Okay. I Woo! I didn't realize we could do oh, this, God. actually. He's, he's remembered he can move the camera. Wow! <laughs> He was sort of, you have defied Tartara. I shall give you death. I sell propane and propane accessories. It's a crit. Goodbye. Wow. Uh... Well, all right, we're going to have to run this one back a little bit. Mm. Um, Red says, well, yeah, there are two O's and that's why what two O's sound like. Oh, uh, Jesus. Uh, can't can't stupid Roosevelt can't spell his own name. Jeff's in the chat. Jeff. <laughs> Python attack. Go here. She is cringe. Uh, well, she's magically influenced. Yeah. All right, Gray crits this time though. Good job, Gray. Holy squid. <laughs> All right. Just kill him. Just, just, just kill him. Um, let's make sure whoever's like sitting in the back that she teleports to go kill is like a little magically beefy. Hey, Luthier, say hello to your sister for me. Jesus Christ. No, she probably kills him too, though. She probably... Oh, God, that would be sad. Yeah, because she, like... I wonder, I wonder if there's a unique second. line that he says. Probably. Fire Emblem's cool like that. True. Uh, but that does mean that I can move everybody up a little bit not worry about just being like, oh, we're going to clash with Delphia. Because, like, I, I'm i trying not to kill her, right? Like, as dangerous as she is, she's also very much a glass cannon mage. Oh, good. Another one. Yeah. Incredible. I'm just not entirely sure what we're supposed to be doing here. How do we get past, like, if she teleports behind, that's one thing. Uh, she's still gonna just kill Python. I mean, maybe she won't crit this time, though. But then he freaking kills her, though. Can you warp her? I honestly don't remember. I can't warp. Like, Silk can warp um, somebody, like, into, like, Tatara's room, but nobody can, like, fight him 1v1. I have to, like, pick him off. Hey, Liam. Yeah? How old do you think Delphia is? I don't know, like... 13, 14? Yep. No, you got it. Oh, you cool. got it in one. All right. Okay. Lucky guess. I didn't remember. I want, and I want to say Luthier's like, probably like 16, 17. She's at least two, says Bread. That's probably that a safe bet. I think that's a good bet. Um...
Forsyth gets doubled. She's fast. Like, everyone doubles her. I mean, I mean the other way around. Except Python. She just like kills or we kill her, which is a problem. I just don't want any combat to involve Delphia, really. Just your range, yeah, it is. Oh, and I can't even go through the corridor without running into it. Great. What am I doing? What do we do here? Um, got to kill this man. That's I like how I like how similar to the uh, to the fight that we uh, did uh, previously. How um, this is also difficult, but in a very different way. Yeah, it's it's interesting that it's like kind of the same sort of. It style. presents a different a different yeah, but it's a different puzzle. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Yeah. All right. So maybe what I need to do is like warp somebody in there to take him out. He has so much defense though. Like what I want to do is like kill him in one turn because if we kill him in one turn, then Delphia presumably like wakes up. And I'm gonna turn the light on. Because if we kill Tatara, then Delphia presumably stops being possessed, right? And if she stops being possessed, I no longer have to plan my positioning around her. Um, because she's it, for the, all the damage she does, she's also very easy to, for us to accidentally kill. But Tatara is like strong enough that he like survives a lot. And the other problem is, like, even if we kill him, this guy still like kills whoever survives. I don't know what we're supposed to do. I don't know what we're supposed to do. Um, it's not worth it just to like hole up on like the back end of the bridge and wait for her to like, well, no, because we need to, no. Because then she fights us and potentially kills people. Uh, yeah. we um... can't get enough people in to beat up on um, Tatara fast enough, right? Maybe like, we with, can. Like, between, like, just rush him and then, like, try and, like, ride it through. Like, if we make, a, like, a, a save state right here or whatever, and then just let's make try one and, here and then try like, and use this yeah. turn to just bum rush him and maybe it's enough. Yeah, maybe. Let's give it a shot. Um, I can, I can use Silk to warp, like, one person in there and I don't know who it should be. It should probably be somebody who can double him and someone with like enough re like res to like not instantly die. Yeah. So like Matilda? You can try Matilda. Wow, we get a lot of silver for killing him. Okay. Yeah, that's like a hundred silver. <sighs> Matilda goes in, she only has 22 hit points. She has 10 res. He doesn't double her. Death is might 14. And he has attack of 15. So that's 29 damage mitigated by 10. So she'll take 19. Uh, and go to like 3. Which is a problem because then this guy attacks. Eventually. But like I don't know. Maybe we can figure it out if we can wake up Delthea. Does Tobin and Gray have a convo? No, it's just the red square. Okay. Whoa! Whoa, dude! Just go with Leroy Jenkins? I, I'm i I'm just deciding who Leroy is at the moment. That's all I'm worried about. The other thing that I could do is I could have Tobin go in. He's very fast and he hits pretty hard. But the lightning sword... Well... Yeah, we, we'd have to give him a new weapon. But his, like, res is... No, his res is really bad. Never mind. I was thinking his res was 8 instead of... Defense. Alma's bad res. Forsyth has okay res, but gets doubled. I think it's probably... I think it's probably Matilda. So, which means we take Silk, we go here. We go Warp. Matilda. Here. Uh, 
Ugh. Oh, and she, like, has only a 50% chance to hit him anyway. That sucks really bad. Alright. Well, uh, actually, we should probably go over here, because then the Pegasus Knights can follow up. Alright, Leroy Jenkins. <laughs> You imbeciles think yourselves a match for the mighty Tatara. Such a dire misjudgment cannot go uncorrected. Oh, she actually hit him. Good job. <laughs> Scary death. Okay. Well, great. We got armor crush. That's wonderful. It's just lovely. Um, and if we use our arts, we die. Uh, we definitely survive. Do we want to go you first? Because you don't have arts. And then we could, like, maybe just take them out of mind. Alright, let's try this. Crit, please. No? Okay, miss, 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 miss. Nope. Oh, no. All right. Brings him down to one. And then we definitely die if he hits. And then we don't have anyone else who can, like, get to him. Yeah, like, not even great, is it? All right, so we... This didn't work. We missed too many times, and he hit us too many times, and mm. all of that. Um, actually, though, we do have one chance. If... If Tempest lands crits, we kill him. Miss. Okay, so that's a miss, so that's good. <sighs> but... Now the problem is, like, these guys just kill us on the counterattack, and so does, like, they'll get it. Um... Who can shove? You can. Alright. Can we get, like, the archers? Can we get, like, gray or python? Who is going to be better to hit? Alright, so what if we did... Shove you. Swap you. Um... Hey, Liam? Yeah. Didn't... Did Alm learn Subdue Combat yet? Yeah, he did. Why don't we just hit Delthea to one so she can't cast a spell? That's a good idea. Dang, that's probably what that's in the game for. <clears throat> yeah. Maybe. I don't know if we're going to be able to get her down in like one shot, but that is actually a really good idea. Uh, also, we have very much committed to the... Uh, kill Tatara plan. Um, and we still can't reach him. So I think we actually need to run this back. Because <laughs> we, yeah, we're we in a bad spot. I mean, we, could, we could just do that. That's fine. But yeah, no, if we can subdue her, then like she just kind of will hang out. Yeah. I didn't even think about that. So, yeah, well, I just... I was just poking around, like, looking at, like, the map and, like, some IGN, like, here's here's us talking about the map, and it's like, pro tip! It's like, oh, pro tip! <laughs> pro tip! Well, that's, that's actually a really cool idea. Um, uh, Alright, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna have, um... I'm gonna move the archers up as far as they can go. Uh, we're gonna have you guys, like, come back a little bit. You're gonna go back here. 
Um, Sluice gate. Ugh. Sure. All right. Um, and then we'll have Alm um, come up to bat. And we'll have the Pegasus Knights close in. And we'll have... You for swapping and you for shoving and all that. Alright, let's, let's just see what we can do. Alright. Are we in your space there? Yeah, we're in your space there. That's fortunate, but... How much does Aura take to cast? Six? So she can't cast it if Alm hits her. That's good. Cool. Oh, and it's a crit anyway. Alright, good job, Alm. We just hit her with the flat of the blade and Delphia goes, Ugh! He's like, just stay there on the ground. I'll be back with you in a minute. And we'll swap with Alm. Because Luthier can take uh, whatever he can dish out a lot better than Alm can. Um, well, not necessarily just based on HP, current HP, but uh, we'll go recover Cliff. And then we'll have you... Nope, we'll have you, but we will, we do want you guys to come over, so. <laughs> Now she's just chilling. <laughs> now she's just kind of hanging out. Alright. Just, just her seething, just unable to do anything. <laughs> she doesn't have the, like, life force to cast a spell, so she's just, like, got a real bad headache. Just kind of groaning there, and it's like, oh. Honey, we'll be with you in a minute. It's fine. We'll get you. We'll get you a Capri Sun and a granola bar. Yeah. Soon enough, it's fine. yeah. Oh heck, he moves. Okay. Yeah, of course he moves. Well, this does mean it's easier to get to him. Ow. Okay, Delphi is chilling, so that means we send in the cavalry. Oh, and he can't counterattack from over here. Love archers. Archers are amazing. Archers are so good. Holy squid, they're. Awesome. I do not feel that way about many other Fire Emblem games. Um, let's make room for Python. You don't need to be up here. Python comes over here. Can't counterattack. Look at his face in the portrait down there. He's like. <laughs> Little, little, little gross, a little gurgly. Yeah, a little bit. We'll have um, Luthier finish him off, so he can get the revenge for possessing his sister, and also because he needs levels. Oh, he doesn't get a quote though. Oh well. But impossible, Father Duma. All right, decent level. Okay, level. Um, and oh gosh, so much silver! Holy squid! Plus plus. Hey! Oh, and she's at one hit point. There she is. Now huh? she's in the middle of. Uh, what am I doing here? Luthier, brother, are you there? I should probably give you a, a vibe check on Delphia now that we've actually officially met her. Um, yeah. She is the just brilliant, smug lord, confident little sister prodigy kid. Like, she's a oh, little good. bit annoying, um, but she's <laughs> she's very aware of how good she, she is at magic. She, 
she she is 13 and aware of exactly how good she is. Fantastic. Yep. Wonderful. <laughs> oh, she teleports out. Thank the gods. Okay, and then we're going to recover Luthier. Good. Okay, good. Okay, good. Okay, very, very good. Uh, and then hey, look, we, we did it. That's cool. Also, Silk's XP is nice. Nice. <laughs> can you both reach us? No, you can't. But you I love. Can. I love the silence as you scroll back over to her and look. I had to check. I had to see it for myself. <laughs> All right. That's funny. Don't kill Luthier, please. He lives, right? Yeah, he does, because you missed. Ha 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 ha. Stinky. Got him. Got him. Um, Big stinky. Speaking of got him, get him, Python. Oh, not that hard. I wanted the experience for Claire. <laughs> okay. Uh, Python said, mission understood. <laughs> it's like, got it. Yeah. All right, no, actually, we can get the experience for Claire, though. Half asleep. Oh, I'm up. Okay. I'm up. Yeah, he just, like, he just, like, opens one eye, sits up, draws the bow, and lets go, and it just hits him between <laughs> his eyes, and it's just like, Jesus, Python! <laughs> nice. Very good level on Claire. Oh, very good. Yeah. Uh, and now and class up. That's cool. Just the one mook left. Um, there's no Singular. like secrets on this map to go get right now. I don't think so. Uh, uh, I can check, I guess. It's fine. I'll just put silk here and the mage mm -hmm. will come over and die. Um, is there anyone else who like maybe really wants the level? I mean, Luthier still. Uh, none of these guys are really getting it. Yeah, it's fine. Oh, we're gonna go from over here? That's annoying. Ow! That does more than I thought. Okay. Hmm. Cat update. They have the zoomies. They are sprinting around the apartment. Oh boy. Hmm. They're the very worse excited. than death. No, not really. No. Nah, these fucking weirdos. It's so funny because when they fight, they're just like literally silent. <laughs> it's very fun. It's great when they get the zoomies together like they currently do. Sorry. It's all right. It's all good. Every everybody is excited about my cat updates. Listen, this is <laughs> this is the right chat for that. It's true. It is. Here's what we'll do. We'll go. We'll do this. Uh huh. Hit him with the long arch. Oh, I guess it is long arch. I always read that as long reach, but you're probably correct. Alright. Huh. Okay. Eat him. Don't miss, please. Yeah, there we go. Okay, good job. Die. Good job, Luthier. Luthier, do better, please. All right. Well, thanks to strategy guide Sean Salisbury Estakis, we uh, pro we, tip. Pro tip. Yeah, that was actually <laughs> thanks, really handy. Holy squid! Thanks to whoever wrote the IGN guide. Thanks. For that. <laughs> um, it's time to go to the Sluis Gate interior, unless we want to go to the Sylvan Shrine and class up people, which I actually think do, we do. Do we want to class up and then and then like call it, or do we want to risk getting involved in other stuff? I don't think we're gonna. We're probably gonna get um, involved in like um, some like cutscene stuff, but we can like during any of that, we can always just like cut it and. That kind of feels less good. Do we want to? Okay, all right, whatever you want to do. I don't know. You tell me. Do you have a, an opinion about it that is strong? Let me see if I've gotten a text that says, "Hey, can you come early?" Because that'll answer the question. Okay. Yep, I sure did. Okay. Oh, okay. I, okay. I, I okay. Checked. That's fine. Uh, then yeah, we'll just uh, we'll just do this, and then we'll then we'll go down. Um, we're I'm ending a little bit early. My... Yeah, I apologize for my schedule being uh, oh, the factor that uh, the factor here. Uh, the, oh, he's it, the herbs and spices again. It's it's missing now this time. Oh God! <laughs> Listen, missing now could be an herb and a spice. You never know. I guess so. That is a very spicy Pokemon. Oh wait, please! I really don't. Want to fight Zesty. You. Yeah. 
Walk, walk away. Waddle elsewhere, bitch. These guys are funny. This, these dungeons are so weird. Yeah, they're a little weird. All right, I think this is it. Yeah, it is. Okay. Level up our Falcon Knights and give them some HP, please. <gasps> wow, that's a lot of HP. Jesus <laughs> Holy shit! All right, cool. Oh, it's, it's these a new are game now. These are monsters now. Yeah, this, this, this. the game has changed. The game has we very one, much changed. We have one healer, but Falcon. Yeah, Falcon Knight. Awesome. Awesome. All right, Mondo Dude. HP, much better defense. Holy we squid! You the finest horse from the rubble among the temple. We got banished, okay, cool. which is cool. All right, and Faye. what the fuck does banish do? I don't know. Increases attack by ten when attacking terrors. Oh mm. gosh, Faye already has the blints. She's just gonna delete them. That's gonna be so cool. <laughs> That's gonna be so good. You're gonna just melt them. It's fine. Yeah. I understand, Alm, if this is what you want. Oh, gosh. She just brings Alm, like, a necklace with, like, a bunch of bones from the from the, Jesus. Um, the, the bone walkers. And Alm's just like, Wait, I removed the I... tibia from every terror that we killed. At no point did I ever ask for anything like this. <laughs> Please stop. <laughs> I'll, grow, I'll, I'll grow however I can to keep you safe, Alm. Cool, great. Oh gosh! Thank, thank, All right. thank you, Fe. Very cool. Well, that's that's really good. <laughs> that's like really strong now. No, that's incredible. Two Falcon Knights. Holy squid! I uh, my kingdom for a second healer, but this is also good. Yeah, this is also very good. We had the chance to make Faye a healer, and we didn't do it. Uh, this is fine. But it's working fine. Silk is just maximum overdrive every map. It's just like I have to <laughs> heal and warp people around and still like <laughs> replenish my own HP, and I'm a res tank. <laughs> And I'm a physical tank. Silk is a monster. Silk, yeah. Silk wants like three turns. I want a dancer. <laughs> Jesus Christ. All right. Uh, but that being said, Sean's gotta gotta go a little bit early to pick up Anna from work. Um, hey, thanks everybody for stopping by for redeeming freaking shameless plug three times for making me eat more crummy uh, Skittles and M and M's and all that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> love y'all. Um, uh, are we are we Mondaying next week or not? Nah? Um, Monday, no. Next week on Monday, I'm gonna be in uh, New Jersey still. I'm coming back on Wednesday, so probably uh, probably no stream, probably next, no stream week. next week. Um, we will maybe we will find time to do one, but it it very much depends. Um, uh, no schedule. Uh. No schedule, and I would like to do a solo stream if I find the time to, which I may or may not. Uh, so we'll see. We'll see. Um, who do we raid? Uh, uh, Mike, Mike Rocker's, Rocker's up. Played Up, I think, was the game that he was playing. I okay. have no idea what the hell that is, but... I don't know either. I don't know either, but let's go check it out. Uh, say hello to Mike Rocker for us. He's a cool dude. He's raided us a number of times. Um, uh, and have a lovely week, everybody. We'll be back as soon as we can, depending on how things go, but we're going to a freaking renaissance fair, so I won't be here next Monday. Good night, everybody. Bye-bye, bye-bye. Bye, guys. Mm.